Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a Saturday morning. We've got a nice start to this Saturday morning. Some high and mid-level clouds streaming in to areas from, uh, we'll say, Muskegon off to the north and west. Uh, we'll start with mostly sunny skies today, turn partly cloudy and then probably partly sunny through the day. It's going to be a windy day, but that wind out of the southwest instead of the northwest will help to drive our temperatures into the upper 60s to near 70 degrees today. There is a Lakeshore wind advisory out. More on that here momentarily. Warmer temperatures today. We were in the mid-50s yesterday. We'll be up around 70 today and if that's not good enough I can fix that. How about 75 to 80 degrees tomorrow, especially from I-96 southward? I'll show you why it plays out that way here momentarily. Wind advisory for all of our lakeshore communities. This does not technically go into effect until noon. It stays in effect through 8 p.m. for sustained southwest winds at 15 to 25 miles per hour with some gusts around 45. We'll still have windy conditions inland. It's just that we're falling under the advisory criteria. So technically there is no advisory inland, but it's still going to be a windy day. I don't have any on radar. We're dry out there and here are the wind speeds and wind gusts. This is from the computer model, so it's forecasting wind speeds. The larger, wider numbers are the sustained wind speeds over a two minute period. So for example, at 9 a.m. it's saying Muskegon will have a 10 mile per hour sustained wind coming out of the south gusting to 19. No big deal here. It's going to take some time for these winds to ramp up as we get into the noon hour. I've stopped the clock here. You can see we've got 10 to 20 mile per hour winds with some higher gusts. These warmer tones that you see, the yellows, transitioning to the oranges, to the reds, to the magentas. These colors are tied to the wind speed. So when you see these hotter tones come in, that means the winds are ramping up. So through the afternoon and around the dinner hour, we've got strong winds sustained out of the southwest at about 15 to 25 mile per hour with some higher gusts up around 40 or 45. Uh, they're still strong, even though the wind advisory technically goes till 8 o'clock. Our forecast model at midnight is still showing reasonably strong winds with the reds and the magentas. Tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. We've got breezy conditions and even through the day tomorrow, the winds come down a little bit, but it's still breezy. So it is a windy day today. It's a breezy day tomorrow, signifying that the winds are a little bit lighter tomorrow, but still breezy. Look at our current temperatures. We're 36 in Big Rapids, 37 in Grand Rapids, 42 in South Haven, 40 in Muskegon. Most of our lows this morning in the upper 20s to low 30s with some areas of frost out there. Lots of warm air residing over the Midwest, the northern, the central plains. That's all coming this way as a warm front is going to lift on through the state. Give us a little bit of extra cloud cover. Could touch off a shower or thunderstorm as we get into the late afternoon and the early evening hours. It's not a for sure thing, but it's a possibility. What it will do and with that wind will drive these temperatures in our area up to around 70 degrees today and maybe up to near 80 tomorrow. There are some showers over the U UP around Traverse City and uh, over northern uh, lower uh, Wisconsin. Those are dropping to the south and east. It is possible from Grand Rapids to the north. This afternoon, we pick up a shower or storm. Uh, it is a chance, but I think most of us will stay dry. But the chance is there. So the chance of a shower storm, not zero today, but it is pretty low. So we're starting off mostly sunny. We turn partly cloudy to eventually partly sunny and cut that sunshine off slowly throughout the day. Still a nice day. Make no mistake about that. Maybe a PM shower or storm. Temperatures make about 70 degrees today with a southwest wind at 15 to 25 miles per hour. If you looked at the weather map, and put things into motion. This is what it would look like. Here's that red line. That's the leading edge of the warmer air. That's the warm front. It's creating some lift, so we're getting some cloud cover out of there. There could be a shower thunderstorm. This model doesn't show it, but there are other higher resolution short term models that I've looked at this morning that show maybe a passing shower storm, so I can't rule it out. It's in there. Eventually, that low pressure system is going to drag a cold front in here. As we get into Sunday morning, it will sag into the area and then stall out or become stationary. If you're south of the front, you're in the upper 70s to about the 80 degree mark tomorrow. If you're north of the front, you're probably going to be about 70, 72 degrees. This front may be the focal point for more shower and thunderstorm activity tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. And then a low pressure system will ride along that front. Look at all the moisture it brings in, especially as we get into Monday with maybe some thunderstorms in there as well. How much rain are we talking about? We use our GFS forecast model that's showing anywhere from uh, maybe about a quarter of an inch. There could be higher totals up across our northern counties, but it looks like we all get in on something as we go through Sunday night, Monday, Monday night, and into Tuesday morning before it wraps up. Our forecast then for today, we're around 70 degrees, windy day, maybe a PM shower thunderstorm, but it's not a for sure thing, but the chance is there. Upper 70s to near 80 degrees tomorrow, not windy, but breezy 
with maybe a nighttime shower or thunderstorm in there. And then by the time we get into Monday, a better chance of more cloud cover, more widespread showers, a thunderstorm in there with temperatures in the mid 60s. That goes into early Tuesday morning, mid 60s on Tuesday, 62 on Wednesday and dry, and then only in the 50s by the time we get into Thursday and Friday. That is about 10 degrees below our normal or average high of 65 degrees for this time of the year. Lauren?